Okay, we're going to go through the chapter 11 review test. Um, number one says, Elaine makes a rectangular pyramid from paper. The base is blank and the lateral faces are blank. So if it is a rectangular pyramid, that gives us the clue right away that the base is going to be a rectangle because that's what it's named by. And the lateral faces are going to be triangles because it is a pyramid. Number two, Daryl paints all sides except the bottom of the box, shown below. Okay, so except the bottom. Select the expressions that show how to find the surface area that Daryl painted. Mark all that applied. Okay, so if I'm looking at the front and back, So the front and the back would be 20 times 12, which equals 240. And I'm going to take that times 2 to make sure that I'm looking at the front and the back, which is 480. The sides are going to be 15 and 12, so sides, 15 times 12, 15 times 12 is 180, 180 times 2 to make sure I've got that side and the left side, 180 times 2 is going to be 360. And this top here is... 20 times 15. I'm only doing the top because it says painted all sides except the bottom. So the top is 20 times 15. 20 times 15 equals 300. Next, I need to go through and add those all together. So I have 480 plus 360 plus 300 and that's going to equal uh, um, 1140 centimeters square. okay but it wants us to select the expressions that show how to find the surface area that Daryl painted mark all that applied okay so when I'm looking at that 240 plus 240. Well, that's what I did right here, the 240 times 2. 180 plus 180, that is 180 times 2. But then it has 300 plus 300. I did not take that 300 times 2, so it is not A. If I look at B, it shows the 20 times 12 times 2. Okay, so that's correct. Two time, or 12 times 15 times 2. Yep. And 20 times 15. That one would be correct. And looking at C, we have 20 times 12 plus 20 times 12, which is what I did up here at the top. Then I have 15 times 12 plus 15 times 12. That's what I did right here. Plus 20 times 15. Okay, so that one would be correct. 20 times 15 times 12 is how I would find the volume of that box, which is not what we're looking at. So B and C would be our correct answers. Okay, number three. A prism is filled with 44 cubes with one half unit side lengths. What is the volume of the prism in cubic units? So I'm going to take that 44. I'm going to divide it by eight because we determined that there are eight one half unit cubes that fit into one unit cube. So we're going to take 44 divided by 8, which equals 5, because 8 times 5 is 40, which means I have 4 out of 8 left, which would simplify into 5 and 1 half. So we have 5 and 1 half unit cubes. A triangular pyramid has a base with an area of 11.3 square meters and a lateral faces with bases of 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16,
depths of meters and the heights of nine meters. Write an expression that can be used to find the surface area of the triangular pyramid. Okay, so we need to think that area equals one half base times height. Okay, so when I plug that in, I have area equals one half nine times five and one tenth. Okay, but then I need to take that times three, and I need to add the base in of 11.3. So I'm going to make sure that I use my orders of operations. I'm going to take one half times nine because of my height, and take that times five and one tenth because of the base times three because a triangular pyramid is going to have three faces then I'm going to add on the base with the area of 11.3 meters squared so that would be my expression Jeremy makes a paperweight for his mother in the shape of a square pyramid. The base of the pyramid has a side length of 4 centimeters and the lateral faces have heights of 5 centimeters. After he finishes, he realizes the paperweight is too small and decides to make another one. To make the second pyramid, he doubles the length of the base in the first pyramid. Okay, so let's look through. So the base has a side length of 4. Base, side length of four. Faces have heights of five. Then the second pyramid, he doubles the length of the base. Okay, so if we drew this as a model, this would be the first one, which I know that this is four, and my height is. So to go through and solve this, we have a equals one half base times height. Area equals one half of four times five. Area equals one half four times five is twenty. One half of twenty area equals ten. That's four one. So I'm going to take that times four to find all four. Area equals 40 of all the faces. <clears throat> then to find my base, I take area equals side squared. Area equals four squared because my length is four. So my area equals 16. Add those together. 40 plus 16 equals 56 centimeters squared. So looking at those questions, they all mention the second pyramid, so I can't do anything yet until I figure out that second pyramid. So I'm going to now work on my second pyramid. So the second one, still the same shape. If I look at the base, it says he doubles the length of the base. So I have to take that 4 times 2, which is going to give me a base of 8. It does not double the height. So you're going to leave that as 5 centimeters. Now you have to do everything that you just did with the new dimensions. Area equals 1 half base times height. Area equals 1 half base is 8 times height of 5. Area equals 1 half of 8 times 5, which is 40. Area equals 20. And then we're going to take that 20 times 4, which is 80. 
then I'm going to look at my base. Area equals site squared. Area equals 8 squared. 8 squared is the same thing as 8 times 8, which is area equals 64. Take 80 plus 64. Add those together, and I get 144 centimeters squared. So look at these questions. The surface area in the second pyramid is 144 centimeters squared. Yes, that is true. We just found that one. The surface area doubled from the first pyramid to the second pyramid. Hey, that is a no. Because the surface area of the second pyramid is 144. The one of the first pyramid is 156. 156 times 2. And not 156, it was just 56. Sorry. So 56 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 11 is 112. So that is not doubled. The lateral area doubled from the first pyramid to the second pyramid. Okay, that one is true. Because the lateral area over here was 40. And the lateral area here is 80. And 40 times 2 is 80. So that one was correct. Looking at number 6. Identify the figure shown and find its surface area. Explain how you found your answer. So the base here is a square. So I know it is a square. And the faces are these triangles, so it's a pyramid. There's only one base, so I know that it's a pyramid. Okay. To find the surface area, if the base is a square, I'm going to use area equals side squared. Area equals... 9 squared. 9 times 9 is 81. The formula for the lateral faces, since those are triangle, we're going to use area equals 1 half base times height. Area equals 1 half base is 9. Height is 16. So 9 times 16. Area equals 1 half of 9 times 16, which is 144. 1 half of 144 is 72. So to find the surface area of the whole shape, you have to take that 72 times 4, since there are four lateral faces. Two times four is two hundred and eighty-eight. Then you add your areas together. So you're going to take two hundred eighty-eight plus eighty-one, which is going to give you nine six three hundred and sixty-nine inches square. So I went through and explained it and showed my work. So you need to write um, your explanation on your paper too. Okay, Dominic has a box of sewing buttons that is in the shape of a rectangular prism. The volume of the box is two and one half times three and one half times two. Because volume equals length times width times height. Okay, so we're just plugging those in. So to solve that, we need to take times 2. Turn those into improper fractions. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have 5 halves times 3 times 2 is 
6 plus 1 is 7 halves times 2 over 1. 5 times 7 is 35 times 2 is 70. 2 times 2 is 4 times 1 is 4. 70 divided by 4 equals 17. And we still have 2 remaining out of the 4, which is going to simplify into 17 and 1 half inches cubed. Emily has a decorative box that is shaped like a cube with a height of five inches. What is the surface area of the box? So if she has a cube, that is a pretty bad cube. Okay, but then it's a cube with a surface area, or we're trying to find the surface area. We know the height is five inches, which means all sides of that shape is five inches. So area equals side squared. Um, area equals 6 sides squared because we're going to have to take that number times 6 for the 6 different sides of the cube. So area equals 6 times side squared was 5 squared. Area equals 6 times 25 because 5 times 5 was 25, which means your area is going to equal 150 inches squared. squared right? 150 inches squared up there. Okay, Albert recently purchased a fish tank for his home. Match each question with the geometric measure that would be most appropriate for each scenario. How much water would the fish tank, or can the fish tank hold? Okay, that's going to be the volume because it's what's inside that fish tank. How much of it can be filled inside that tank? How much material would the tank would it take to cover the entire fish tank? And that one is going to be the surface area because we're trying to figure out covering. Okay, so if we have the keywords cover, paint, um, <clears throat> those would be surface area. And how much space on or would the fish tank occupy on the table? The area of the base of the fish tank is what we would find there because if we have our table and I set the fish tank here. We want to know how much space this would be. That would be an area. <laughs> okay, number 10. Select the expressions that show the volume of the rectangular prism. Mark all that apply. Well, if I'm going to solve this, volume of a rectangular prism, volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals, my length is 2 times my width one half times my height two and one half okay I'm not finding the surface area so these two do not apply that one is correct because that right here is what I just wrote here now I'm gonna solve that two over one turn into improper fractions times one half times two times two is four plus one is five five halves 2 times 1 is 2 times 5 is 10 over 2 times 1 is 2 times 2 is 4. If I simplify, 10 fourths equals 4 goes into 10 2 times, which would be 8, which gives me 2 out of the 4 left. Simplifies down into 2 and 1 half. 2 and 1 half can then be turned into 2 and 4. 5 tenths, because if I multiply both of these by 5, it gives me 5 tenths, which can be written as a decimal, 2 and 5 tenths, so that one would also be correct.